Hey Jack, what day is it today? Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day, and we want to wish you a happy Valentine's Day. We also want to tell you that we love you very much. Very, very much. Very, very, very much. Yeah. And what are we drawing today? A bouquet of roses. Which is a group of roses stuck together. Yes. We hope you get to follow along with us. You need a marker. Marker, some paper, and something to color with. Yeah. And we're just going to draw one rose first. We're going to start up here and we're going to draw a circle. We don't want to draw it too big because we need to draw a bunch of other roses. Yeah. Now we're going to draw a line inside like that. And this is going to be the petal, one of the petals. Then we're going to draw another one. We're going to start over here, and then we're going to connect to the other side. Then we can do one more. We're just going to go around the rows. Yeah, and then this one we can connect to both sides. Cool, there's the first ring of petals on our rows. Now let's draw another one. We're going to work our way into the center. Then we can start over here. We're just going to repeat the same steps and draw another line that goes across. And then we can start over here, draw another one that goes across. And then I'm going to go even smaller. Let's do one more just to make the center of our rows a little smaller. Oh, let's do one more. There we go. <laughs> now, now it looks awesome. It looked awesome before, yeah. but now it looks super awesome. Super duper awesome. And that's it. That's how we draw a really cool, simple rose. Now, this next part, we're going to draw a couple more roses. Well, we could draw as many as we want. And we're going to repeat all of those same steps. So this part, we're going to fast forward. But at the end, you guys can pause it so that you can take time to draw your roses also. Now, another thing you can do to make this a little more challenging is to draw the roses overlap. <laughs> yeah, you knew exactly what I was going to say. So the first circle, I'm only going to draw part of it because it's behind the first rose we drew. All right, you ready to fast forward? Yes. Next, we're going to draw a few leaves sticking out from behind the roses. So first, let's draw a leaf right here. We're going to draw one coming down. Then we can draw on the very end, we're going to draw a V. Looks like an arrow. Yeah. Then we're going to draw a zigzag line curving into the rose. And we can do the same thing on the other side. There we go. Now, we could also add a few extra lines coming out from the center vein to make it look more like a leaf. You did a great job. Now we're going to use those exact same steps that we used to draw that one leaf to draw a couple more leaves around our roses. ready to draw the wrapper that's holding all of our roses together. We're going to draw a line on each side that comes down and then they get closer together or taper towards the bottom. Then let's add a bow down here at the bottom. I'm first going to draw a circle or kind of a rectangle or a square shape and then we can draw two lines that come out from each side of that. This is the knot. For a bow. And we went past the wrapper. Then we can connect each side. Then we can also add two little lines on the inside. And this is for the wrinkles on the bow. There we go. Now let's draw the little ends of the bow coming down. So I'm going to draw a wavy line that comes out like this on each side. Then let's draw a wavy line right next to the first one we drew on both sides and I'm trying to match the same waviness of the first one. <laughs> yeah, and then right at the end, let's add a V to connect both sides. Oh, your bow looks really cool and I like how that one's straight. That's yeah, I accidentally did that. That's okay. Now let's add the bottom part of our wrapper. Now this side, I'm gonna draw coming back out. So we're trying to imagine this line coming down to where the bow is and then coming back out at the very bottom. 
Now down here we can draw a wavy line for the bottom of our wrapper. Cool, and then we need to draw the stems sticking out of the bottom. So we could just draw some lines coming down like this. Let's draw two lines actually, and then we can connect it. There's the end of the stem, and then you can draw two more lines, connect it. I'm gonna go across and do this all the way like that, across. And then we can also add more stems in between. So I'm drawing, we can draw a couple lines in between and then connect it at the bottom. I'm gonna add one more over here and we're gonna, I'm gonna use overlapping. Ah, oh, that looks really cool. That's the bottom of all of our long stem roses. Now let's add a few wrinkles to the wrapper. I'm gonna draw lines that come down to the knot. And they can be different lengths, yeah. And then down here we can do the same thing. I'm gonna draw some of the lines long and some of them short. And they're connecting up here to that knot on the bow. Jack, you did an awesome job on your roses. It looks really cool. And it was pretty simple, right? Yeah. It looks a little complicated, but because we took it one step at a time, it was pretty easy. Now we're not completely done with our drawings, right? Yes. What do we still need to do? Color it. Color it. It's gonna look even better once we color it. Now this part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end you guys can pause it to match the same color. Jack, great job, man. You did awesome on coloring your bouquet of roses. I love it, especially the shading. You did a great job on the wrapper, and I also love that you colored the center of the roses darker. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your roses. Yeah, we did. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we hope you have a happy Valentine's Day. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.